Hey Mike, thanks for doing this as always. Got a couple questions for you. Um, first thing, you've long been pretty bullish on Alex Smith and his ability to get the Chiefs to the Super Bowl. Um, just curious if you still feel that way, number one. And then number two, who are some quarterback fits uh, for the Chiefs in this draft? And if so, and if you see any, why? Yeah, that's a, that's a hard question. It's a good question. Um, I, I am bullish on Alex Smith because I read you guys a list of quarterbacks early on. Yep. And, you know, there's only eight or ten franchise guys in the league, and if Alex Smith isn't one of them, he's just kind of a notch below. Yep. And that's better than most of the other teams around the league. I mean, I, I don't, I could name you half the league that needs a quality starting quarterback. So the, I, I believe the Chiefs are ahead of most of the teams. Um, I think you've got to be careful for what you wish for because it may come true. Mm-hmm. Um, as, far, as far as this particular draft is concerned, I mean, the way I'd look at it if I was Kansas City and if I was looking for a quarterback, I'd rather get a guy that I felt like had some talent. Like, again, I, my message early on was keep swinging. So, you know, look at New England. They, they've been for years trying to figure out when Tom Brady's going to run out of gas. They've had to draft consistently second and third round quarterbacks, and they did it again last year with Jacoby Brissett so in the third round. So I would see no problem with Kansas City if they took a look at, and I'll tell you, I mean, one guy I think is interesting is, is Chad Kelly from Ole Miss. Now, he's got character concerns and he's got injury concerns. If he didn't have those, we'd be talking about him as a second-round guy and maybe higher. Uh, I think Brad Kaya from Miami and Josh Dobbs from Tennessee are the two quarterbacks I would classify as having some talent, but kind of long-range developmental prospects, but they have talent. So if you took a guy like that in the third round, for instance, and tried to develop him, I think that'd be a pretty good plan. And I also think in general that the free agent quarterback class, and he's going to be a little more intriguing to some teams this year than typical. Thank you, Mike.